guys so this is my second video that I'm filming tonight and hi guys so this is my second video that I'm filming tonight and I think I'm gonna be doing a third one so if you see me wearing this outfit quite a few times now in the videos just letting you know that it's my third video or my this is my second and then the other one will be my third so I just wanted to do a quick kind of an update video on my nail polish rack. It's been a while that I haven't really updated you guys what's on it and how I organize it and how I place the the colors and the collections and the products or the brands and stuff like that on it. So I wanted to do this video really quick and also just to let you guys know where I bought my nail polish rack. I don't know the website by heart but I will go to my old video and get the link from there so if you guys are interested to purchase an polish rack like mine I'll put the link of it in the info box for you guys so you can go ahead and check it out I think it is $34 that fits I believe um, most definitely more than 100 nail polish it depends how big the bottle is uh, mine is I have really different different sizes of bottles that you're gonna see how I put them all together and stuff so yeah I'm um, just to let you guys know that I'm not bragging about the nail polishes I have um, I just haven't bought any nail polish in a long time um, I just filmed a julep maven box that I had nail polish in and I got like uh, three new polishes from Mac and stuff that I found in the AIDS funds that you guys are gonna see as well but um, I just have my nail polish uh, rack organized the way I wanted it to be it's not card cord it's not color coordinated it is kind of by collections though um, like julep they're all color coordinated and my American apparel as well but my OPIs are basically more put into collections and in the collection they're kind of color coordinated I tried my best and stuff because I don't like it to like have pinks and purples and yellows and I just I don't like it that way I like it to be mishmashed I don't know it's kind of my style so anyway I want to show you it and hopefully you guys like it and hopefully um, you will be able to see them I'm gonna move the light a little bit and also warning you guys it's gonna be a little bit shaky so yeah so if you want to see my nail polish back and how I organize it please keep on watching so this is my nail polish rack. Sorry about that little vase on the side over here. It's just my Alex 9 that I have stuff on it right now. Um, you guys haven't seen this in a long time. So yeah, a lot of things changed in my room. Not a lot. One thing that I really like. But this is my nail polish rack and this is how I basically put all my nail polishes together. And see what I'm talking about, my color coordinated, like my um, American Apparels and my Julep ones over here and on the top, how I tried my best to put them color coordinated as possible. So uh, the three rows at the bottom, they're all my OPI. I haven't bought OPI nail polishes in so long. And yeah, so I'm going to go over them really fast. They're basically the same things as the old ones, like the old video. So the row at the bottom, I have all my shatter ones, my shatter collection, uh, the crackles one that cracks on your nails. Over here you have these one, two, and three. These are from the Muppets collection. And then you have one, two, and three. These are from the Nicki Minaj collection. And these random ones, sorry, they're like most of them, they need to be shaken up a little bit. I haven't done that. I normally do that every week. Like I shake my nail polishes so they don't expire. I haven't done it this week though. I'm sorry about that. Four over here, they're just random ones really. I don't know what collections they were from. They're just random purchases. Um, the second row, this one is just the black one. One, two, three, and four. These are my Alice in Wonderland. One, two, three, four, and five. These are my Shrek ones, Shrek collection. And the one, two, three, four, and five. These are the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. And then the third row, I have one, two, three. These are the Spider Man collection. One, two, three, four. These are the Katy Perry ones. These two here, they're from the Burlesque collection. And these two, or these three, I'm not sure, they were actually a... Oh, God, I forgot. I forgot that collection. But um, if you guys know these three, you've probably seen them in a haul with Cynthia, actually. 
the pink one over here um, it is a Mickey 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 mini mini Mickey collection and these two are just randoms um, this one was from a collection too that I don't know what it is it's actually an OPI polish as well next uh, my Mac polishes I'm actually building my collection with some Mac <laughs> polishes at the moment so this is my Veronica one from the Archie's Girls these three I believe they were from a collection that I don't know I don't know what it is really um, I just grabbed these from the Ace Funds bag that um, employees have in the back. Um, these three, I believe, they are the Villains collection. These two, again, um, they're just random. I don't know what collection they're from. And my Pride and Joy collection that I love so much, it is the uh, Marlon Monroe um, collection that I love so, so much. I just, I just wanted to see that collection on my nail polish rack and then you have my SE ones which I only have uh, five I don't really have a lot of SEs so yeah these are the colors and then the one before the last I have two random ones here I have Dior and a Lancome and then uh, starting from here to here they're all my American apparels ones these two here are from Urban Outfitters and the rest are all from Julep. This one, this row here, and the whole thing up there is from Julep. And then you have one China Glass Nail Polish, which is uh, Flip Flop Fantasy. I also have been trying the top coat and base coat from uh, from China Glaze as well. The top coat, I should say, it's one of my favorite at the moment. It is a super dry, fast drying uh, top coat that I actually got these two from winners and this one was from uh, the IMAT show Toronto last year. These here they're just really random stop coats, base coats. Um, I have Revlon, I have Lancome, I also have a Julep one, um, a Dior one and a um, Sesh Natural the uh, uh, matte top coat which um, kind of transformed me now polishes to a matte one. So this is my nail polish rack i um, step back so you guys can see it from far. So that is how it looks like. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little nail polish rack update that I've done. Sorry about some of the nail polishes that needed to be a little bit shaked up. I didn't get a chance to do that this week. Yeah, so I'm really sorry about that. I know they kind of look expired, but they're not. They just need a little bit shaking. It's better to put your nail polishes standing up. Um, whenever you have the chance I think it's better for the nail polish so if you guys want to purchase the same nail polish rug that I have make sure that you check out the info box below and you can check out the information from there um, if you have any further questions please let me know in the comments down below I try to get to you guys as soon as possible thank you guys so much for watching and I love you and I'll talk to you later bye everyone